Contestant number six, Jane Pollock. Jane Pollock. Wonderful opening, got us engaged right away, asked us questions, actually solicited answers. There's no, going to be no sitting back and letting the speech fly over your head. This is all about listening, and by gosh, Joan taught us about active listening, and she engaged us in active listening. So a wonderful introduction. Then she proceeded to go through the anagram of listen, L-I-S-T-O-T-E-N. And she had an example for every single part of the listen of the speech. So a very good opening and a very good body, a very good structure to her speech. And you always, and you knew what was going to be the next thing because hopefully we all can still listen. <laughs> she has a very good, Joan had a very good natural humor. We had to listen because we didn't know when the next zinger was going to come. And we didn't want to miss out on all the laughter that was happening in the speech. A few things, perhaps, to improve upon. When you were talking about the actual listen, and you said bias and no preconceived notions, those are phrases that we hear a lot. But what you had demonstrated was exactly the opposite of a bias and a preconceived notion. You could have referred back to the introduction of your speech, and we would have gone, you're right, I came in with a particular bias, and I had to leave it behind because of the active listening that you had been helping us to achieve. Some very good things that, uh, some, some nonverbal cues, and saying that there are a few people, when you said, now it lets everybody smile, and then, you actually pointed out some people were smiling so that you knew and everyone was listening. Very good projection and a very good movement on the stage. I think that you probably hit the entire zone that we were instructed to when we started the speech in order to make sure that every part of the room was going to be engaged. Your closing could have used a little more punch. I think you could have actually, again, killed us with the preconceived notions and, and recited the last line of Longfellow's poem. Make us listen. But all in all, what a wonderful speech. Thank you very much for presenting it, Madam Toastmaster.